morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, uh, today in class, we were uh, reading, you know, the Lotus Sutra. We've been having this class for, I think, over a year now. <laughs> <laughs> And hopefully it will be over soon. <laughs> um, and uh, what uh, uh, Roshi was talking and, and he was trying to make a point that the uh, purpose of, of the Lotus Sutra is uh, to basically help us understand to stay in the moment, and uh, uh, I was thinking while he was explaining, I was thinking that that uh, uh, we read the sutras and we might read books and we might do practice chanting, whatever it is that we do, which it helps because of, of course we cannot always be in the moment. It's always we're always our mind is always always uh, wandering off, so. Uh, well, he said that, you know, it's the Lotus Sutra is to, to uh, help us understand that whatever we do, it's a practice. And that our, the practice is not the same for everyone. In, in other words, I, 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 I understood that, that uh, uh, the way uh, the Buddha attained uh, enlightenment, it was the way he did it. And he left... Uh, steps for us to follow but at the same time we, we don't we all of us have different situation which might not apply the same principles might not might not apply so because we all have different things to deal with some uh, some of us have to deal with uh, 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 sickness others have to deal with emotional problems financial problems uh, work problems family problems anything so the situation Situations change for everyone, so trying to follow uh, uh, strictly a path would somehow, I believe, uh, lead us astray from from the path because this the path is our own path. Is it's in other words, what's good for myself is not good for you, for you, for you, because like I say, all situations are different. So we need to deal with what we, whatever we have at hand, whatever we have in front of us that we're dealing with, that's probably what we need to be dealing with. And, and it's somewhat difficult because we are inside the, the problem. And uh, so I was uh, talking also to Steve this morning, you know, uh, that we we cannot resolve a, a, a situation within our own uh, uh, in other words there's a phrase that says uh, the eye cannot see itself so in other words the the eye sees but can the eye see itself no because it's just seeing so when we try to, it's the same with the situation, we try to resolve the situation within the same situation. It's just the same. It's just being in a room with your problems and then just moving around. You move to one side and the problems will be in the other side. You move to the other side of the problem, but there you will always be inside of it. So to deal with situations and, and to be able to actually eat, gain some insight and hopefully a little wisdom is uh, when we actually step out of our own mind, our own understanding. And, and many times that uh, implies being a little silent within ourselves. Just, just not trying to always answer ourselves back. Because things pop up in our mind and the first reaction we have is, oh, I got to find a solution. You are dying to find a solution. And because it's a situation that you have at hand. But at the same time, 
you got to realize that it's just your own thought. You're just following your own thoughts. And if you really need to find an answer or at least have some sort of relief for that matter, which is, I think, the most important, is just to step out of ourselves and, and look at things from, from a, a different perspective. And the reason why we are not able to do that is because, we, like I said, we're always answering to ourselves. Every thought that pops in our minds, we try to find an answer for it and, and reason and uh, find, uh, I guess, uh, excuses to make our own opinions about it valid. And then just, you know, uh, validate ourselves through those answers. I was right. I was right. I was right. And that's all what we're doing, just answering <clears throat> ourselves and trying to prove ourselves. Right. And, and then also this morning in the class, you know, the question or the issue about Christians came up and you will realize it's just about the same. You know, what does it matter if Christians believe that Jesus is going to save him or not? It's because we all f follow our own path. So what might work for myself might not work for my neighbor. Because we all have different, uh, I guess, levels of, 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 of awareness, which is not bad. It's just that we're not there. Just like we're not, we don't have the uh, understanding of, of Stephen Hawking's. It doesn't make us dumb or anything. It's just that we're not there. But we're always trying to find dumb. Um, a positive and negative and when we compare ourselves of course we're gonna always end up losing because unfortunately we'll always compare ourselves to better persons or you want to make ourselves feel better we compare to people that we judge and believe that do things that shouldn't be doing but if we just let ourselves uh, uh, just let our mind run and uh, just let it run, let it run, let it get tired of itself. Just let it, you know, it's just like a puppy that you need to go and walk, or it's your dog, or, you know, just take it out, put it on a leash, and you walk with it. And then eventually, you know, the, the puppy's gonna just wanna go back home. Exactly, you'll see its tongue is gonna t stick out, and you're okay, it's tired. And then you go back home, and it's the nicest uh, puppy in the world because it's tired. It's the same thing with the mind. You just let it run and, and try not to chase it. That doesn't mean that you don't need to be aware or be present. Just be there without trying to control. And that's a very, it's a trick that the mind plays because we, oh, I'm going to be aware. And then you try to control the thought. You try to be there by controlling what goes through your mind. And then next thing, you're tired. Your, your mind is just exhausted because you're just trying to hold the thought. How can you hold the thought? So um, uh, many times uh, when these uh, uh, thoughts come to our minds, uh, I've, I've been uh, practicing, being aware of, of uh, thoughts that make me see how my project my reality is being projected into the world and I've come to realize that many times my reactions are just an answer to feeling attacked and before I being or I feel that I'm being attacked I just look into what I'm, what's going through my mind, what I'm feeling, and just kind of step aside and let it be, and realize that, that I'm just defending myself. I'm just defending myself, and, and that happens with everything in life. And that's why we end up sometimes being a little moody, because of your, your, 
mind is tired and if your body is tired then that's even worse because we're just being taken taken by 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 our projections by those uh, thoughts of, of attack that we we feel and it's so subtle that you wouldn't even think they're there because we're so used to them because it's human nature and you're so used to seeing things as being attacked that that's what we got those uh, oh, rapid answers to anything to within our mind that was just I'm just talking about how we answer ourselves because we want to defend ourselves we want to be right we want to not feel attacked because we've got that sense of ourselves and it comes into play the body and the mind and you know when uh, uh, Dogen said drop body and mind that's precisely what it means you drop uh, your mind you uh, uh, of course Meditation, practice, being in the moment, all that plays part in it. But dropping the mind being means just not getting caught in your own thoughts. Just let, it, let your mind uh, run itself and, and understand that, that they're just thoughts. They're just, it's just your mind. Of course, we're all attached to our own beliefs and, and to what we believe and the we have right and, and we have the proper way of doing things. But it's just our opinions. And who do they matter to? Just ourselves. In other words, your opinions, your concerns, your concerns, your ideas, how am I going to be able to feel them within myself? If all I, can, all I know is this body, this mind, this body, uh, the mind is contained within this body. That's, that's exactly the drop body and mind because all we have to know is this. This is our own contact with the universe. So there's no way for me to know what each one of you feels or thinks or whatever it is that, that you go through, because there, there's no way, there's no USB cable that we can connect to each other and, and download information or feelings. So, if we just let things go and understand that the only way for you to kind of know what other people go through is when you understand your own self. When you understand your feelings, what you go through, what makes you suffer, those are exactly the same things that make other people suffer. You might suffer because you, I don't know, uh, uh, your uh, cell phone charger broke and you suffer. Other people suffer because they have bad health. Other people are broke. Other people are going through divorces, through any sort of problem. So, just being able to, to relate, and Roshi mentioned it, you want to be in the moment, just go, and help, go out there and help someone. That will make you snap out of your, your own little world. So, uh, that being in the moment, it, it's just, it sounds so simple, and yet it is not difficult, but it's just, it takes a moment of just being silent within ourselves. Just let things roll, you know, or, I don't know, the. Uh, uh, we, like I said, we will always want to control things, but sometimes we have to understand that there are things that we can control and things that we cannot control. And just, I guess we sometimes have to learn things just, you know, with their own way. And contain within your understanding or your power within things, try to do something about it. In other words, I would love to help all the people, you know, the refugees in Syria. They need a house, need 
all those things. But what can I do? Except maybe send a little money to an organization that can help. But I cannot live my life. I could, but set aside everything and go out there to, to help. Because I, I have commitments here. We all have commitments in life. So it's just being aware that there are things we can do, things we cannot do. And I guess when we come to that moment of understanding, we'll just get at least a little relief, a little, uh, a small uh, instant or, or like Roshi said, you know, that, just that instant where you're in, in the now. And then just trying to f be there now, just now. And of course you're gonna snap out of the now because that's exactly how the mind works. You know, we just might be able to gain something and then that little being in the now is gonna become your next illusion because you're, oh, I wanna be, <laughs> I wanna be in the now, now, but you're not there. Why? Because your own, your own thoughts of wanting to be there are in the way. So again, if you just are silent for a second within yourself and just let things go the way they have to do, hopefully we can just be in the now just for that little moment and, and most importantly, get some relief for ourselves.